for tuning into my channel again. Um, last video that I did, I told you this was going to be a several part series because I went to an estate sale and they had a huge, huge collection of all kinds of stuff. Most of the things that I bought, well, I shouldn't say most, uh, I bought a huge collection of wooden items and I showed you some of the wooden items last week and I said some of them or can't remember if it was all of them that I showed you last week were for sale or some of them. Anyway, so I'm going to show you some more of the wooden things that I bought and including with included with the wood, I'm also going to show you some brass and some other things that I bought. Uh, I'll let you know which ones of these are going to be for sale at the bottom after the video. If it's for sale, I'll put a price on it. The first three I'm going to show you, my son decided that he wants to keep and they're not going to be for sale. So this was somebody's wooden collection of really beautiful hand carved. This is an elephant. <laughs> Obviously it's an elephant. So, and these are pretty big. Look how my hand is, and I, my hands are big. So my son found three of these and he decided he wants to keep them. And he's got a collection of wooden animals anyway, but these are really beautiful, high quality. It's got a little crack there, but <laughs> great place for a crack, huh? <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's get serious here. So this is his elephant, and I thought it was just gorgeous, and I'm glad he decided to keep it, although I can't, I would like to keep everything I buy because I buy what I like. Unfortunately, I want to keep everything. I think I'm passing that gene on to my son, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but nevertheless, here is, this is really unusual. It's an ox or oxen. I don't know what they, what the proper way of saying this, if it's ox or oxen. Maybe oxen is more than one. Anyway, look at the beautiful carving on this. I don't know what, the elephant was heavier than this, but this is a really smooth, just a beautiful wood. Maybe this is teak. It kind of feels and looks like teak. But it just has beautiful carving. The lines are just soft and beautiful. And this doesn't have anything underneath either. A lot of times they have stickers underneath so you know where they came from. But this doesn't have any sneakers. <laughs> it doesn't have any sneakers. It doesn't have any stickers. But I just thought this was beautiful. And I'm glad my son decided to keep that. And so I'm going to show you the third one that he's going to keep. And then I will show you some other ones that he's not going to keep. And I'm not going to keep either. So here is a beautiful hippo. This one is, and this is really, really heavy. This is a really nice, I don't know if you can see the grain in the wood. And I don't know, I wish I knew my woods better, but I don't. But this is just a really high quality. You can just tell from holding this that the quality is really, really high. And it's heavy, really heavy. I think I said that, but anyway, so that's the hippo. My son is going to keep the hippo. So now, I, last week I showed you that I had a wooden, um, it was either a swordfish or a marlin. It was a, and so I think these are probably the same. These are brass. There's two of them. And I don't know my fish, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say maybe these are marlin because the other one I think was a marlin. I got them at the same place. Or maybe it was just a fisherman and he collected fish. But they all have that really pointy. Anyway, so there's two of these and made in Korea. Um, the estate sale I bought these from, the gentleman was, I believe, a World War II and a Korean War veteran. So he brought these back from a lot of his travels when he was in the military. Anyway, there are two of these and they're matching and these are definitely going to be for sale. And they are pretty heavy, but not as heavy as some, but they are definitely, they have a lot of substance to them. And you can see the stickers on the bottom. This one here, there, can you see that? Made in Korea. Don't see a lot of things anymore made in Korea. Every now and then I see some other places most everything is made in China well the newer stuff anyway so I always like it when I see things that are from other places 
These I need to clean up. I haven't had a chance to clean these yet, but it is a pair of, uh, I want to say ducks. And again, I don't know my birds. I'm not sure if these are ducks or maybe in the duck family. But these are, these are big. One is bigger than the other, so maybe it's a mommy duck and her little duckling. Um, and I can't read these on the bottom. I can only read the one that says made, so I don't know where they're made. But these are also, like I said, pretty heavy. So I'm thinking maybe these aren't ducks because of this little, um, what I don't even know what you would call it since I don't know what these are. But it doesn't look exactly like a duck, so maybe it's a, obviously in the duck family because you can see the, let me see if I can get a better view of that. If I hold it like this, you can see the feet a little bit better. And so, anyway, for a size comparison, you can see that one is quite a bit bigger than the other. <laughs> These are heavy, definitely heavy. Um, high quality, you can tell. So let me see, that was the one I looked at. I just wanted to see if I could see the other one. Yeah, you can't read either one of them. Um, I This one here, maybe if you had a magnifying glass you, and you could kind of make out some of the lettering here. I don't know where it was made. And I, that may or may not be important to you if you decide that you want to buy these. So that will kind of have to be up to you to kind of figure out where they came from. So here's another thing that I bought, and I thought this was really neat. Um, it is, so if you turn this here, there are marbles on the inside. So you can probably t play tic-tac-toe, or you see there are nine areas. There were a small marble that is in here. There's marbles in there. I don't want to tip it too far because it'll fall out. So this is the, I, what I bought this for, actually I, I think what it was for when I bought it, I should say, is a coffee table thing. So when you have guests over and they're, you're sitting there talking or maybe the women are out in the kitchen talking and the guy is sitting there, <laughs> which happens sometimes, uh, or the men are there, they can play tic-tac-toe. So this would be a really fun thing to put on your coffee table. This is definitely going to be for sale. I thought that was just a kind of a really neat, and this also came from the same, same estate sale. So I don't know if he brought this from one of the countries that he was stationed in or visited. I'm not really sure. And then I got this, and I have mixed feelings about this. This is obviously, I don't know if you can see what a beautiful shade of purple. It's iridescent. I don't, you're not getting a really good, maybe like that you can see a little bit better. It's a bluish purple and it's just a really vibrant, beautiful, bright, iridescent blue. Okay, so my mixed feelings about these is I've seen these. And I've seen them when they have them on big boards and they have several of them pinned on there. And I would like to believe that they maybe put them on there when they found them dead, but chances are they probably didn't. And so I never wanted to buy one of those because I didn't want to participate in that thinking of hurting any kind of a living being. So I found this and it had been there quite a while, obviously. This was at the same estate sale. So um, I thought, well, what a waste, you know, if the creature died, the butterfly or moth, if it died... I certainly wouldn't want to see this thing thrown away, how disrespectful that would be. And it is beautiful, and I would never... Um, the place that I saw these was um, when we went on a trip one time locally, but we went up to Dixon's Orchard, and this was before it burned down. And along the way they had trucks, and one of the trucks was selling a bunch of these, and they had them on those boards, and they were pinned on with the pins that have the color tips and I felt really bad then and I didn't buy one I thought they were beautiful but I would not want to encourage that because chances of finding something this beautiful and in one piece like this a lot of times the older butterflies have little 
nicks and stuff out of their wings and this one really doesn't seem to so my guess is it was probably a he healthy butterfly. I doubt they found this butterfly on the side of the road. Anyway, so I did buy it and I'm going to keep it and I'm going to respect this and I hope I would like to leave a message for those of you who ever see things like this. You can just put yourself, I know it's a People are going to say it's just a butterfly. Put yourself in the place of the butterfly. And if this butterfly was alive when they decided to do whatever they did with it, or those other butterflies when you see the specimens like I was telling you about on the boards, think about before you buy it, yes, it's beautiful, but you're just encouraging um, that. Like, like I said, I really doubt they find these um in this kind of wonderful condition, dead on the side of the road or in their backyards. I mean, they could. I doubt it, though. Okay, so that was my rant. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a few more things here. I just would like to be take part in being more, more respectful of nature and just looking at it at a distance and not feeling like I have to have it in my home and encouraging the going out and harming, possibly harming these little creatures. They're beautiful and they, they belong in the wild. Like I said, this one was dead. Um, he would probably had it for quite a while. And I didn't want to see it just thrown in the trash. And so, anyway. So, okay, here is... Gosh, that was depressing. Sorry about that. I, anyway, okay, so this here, if you look at how beautifully this is carved... Um, this is a three piece, well it's more than three pieces. This here has coasters in it. I don't know how many are in there, quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, eight of them. And this is beautifully carved. I don't know what kind of wood this is, but you can see the intricate carving in there, how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? And the matching candle holders. And there isn't anything on the bottom, so I really don't know where these would have come from. But they are just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I'm going to have these for sale or not, because I have a thing about... <laughs> I have so many different collections, but I do have a collection of really, really pretty, and I only have a few um, candle holders because I like to put candles out, especially ones that smell good. Okay, so I have one more thing I'm going to show you here. Let's get these out of the way here and make some room. I'll be right back. Okay, so the last thing here and these are definitely going to be for sale um, a set of poles and these I do believe are teak so and they have stickers on the bottom I don't know exactly what they say if you want to take a better look at this you can pause this and see if you can figure out what this says I have not tried to yet but you can pause it if you want to take a little bit longer look I'm just going to put it up here right now Anyway, so this is the smallest bowl. There's only one that's this size. It's it's a this would make it like a, a nice dip bowl. Like maybe guacamole or salsa or something. And there are three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know what happened to the eighth one. So there are seven of these. And they look like they have not been used. Um, they do have a couple of like little nicks on the side, but I don't think these have been used because if they'd been washed, these stickers on the bottom would not be in the condition they're in. So like I said, again, if you want to see this, if you want to try to read it, go ahead and pause this. If you find an angle that looks really good, go ahead and pause it and see if you can figure out where they came from. I mean, I, I can read it, but anyway, I, I haven't yet. They all have a sticker on the bottom. Um, this one here seems to not be in as good of condition, but I don't think these were ever used. I don't think they ever used them. I think maybe this one is, has, is just a little bit rough on the bottom, just probably from sitting there. 
for all the all the years they sat there. Yeah, so this one isn't great. This one has a few flaws on it, but um, they're very usable. So let's see. I'll pull a couple of the. Just look through the rest of them real quickly in case you decide you want to buy them and you want to see each one. And like I said, they're not perfect, but they're very usable. If you wanted to use them in your kitchen for little salad bowls or soup bowls or whatever, um, there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't. So here's that one. They don't have that stick. Oh, that one doesn't have the sticker on the bottom. Sticker's gone. And then here's the last one, and you can just kind of see for yourself that you know they're not perfect, but um, they'll work, and they're they're actually in very very good condition, but they're not perfect. So okay, that is uh, a few more things of what I found at this estate sale. And um, if you're interested in any of them, make sure you give me a, a like make a comment below or send me a private message and. We can discuss the shipping uh, and payments and all that stuff. Okay, so, and then I have one other thing that's kind of funny. I've had a lot of comments from you guys, especially, I have three, just three this week. You guys want to know if I have colored contact lenses in, and the answer is no, I don't. And you want to know if this is my real color, and yes, it is, and I don't know. You said you wanted to see a close-up of my eyes. So there you have it. I <laughs> get a close-up of my eyes. Um, I looked in the mirror, and I've never really thought about it. Um, but I guess there are... I'm trying to look now. Bluish gray, turquoise. I don't know. They're, they are kind of a, an odd... I don't even know how to describe them. But no, they're not colored contact lenses. They're my own. And thank you for the compliments on my eyes. So, okay, that is it for this video. It's kind of a short video. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me a private message or make a comment below. And if you have a minute, like and subscribe, and also click that notification button in the upper right corner. That way you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video and you don't have to check back and see if there's anything new. You'll get a notification right away. So anyway, I'm the Tipsy Gypsy. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to have some more videos come out this week, so be sure to click that notification bell so you're the first one to watch them, and be the first one to see the things for sale. If there's something you want, you get first dibs on it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!